tonight, one person dead and another behind bars after gunfire in Gulfport. It happened here on Deborah Drive off of Three Rivers Road. That victim has been identified as 50 year old Ronaldo Della Valde. Noah Noble was at the scene and he brings us the latest. We have to put a stop to it because we're losing. Like we're losing our youth. We're just we're losing. Another shooting, another life lost to gun violence. 50 year old Ronaldo Dalla Valade was killed in an Orange Grove shooting. He was shot multiple times behind the wheel of a Nissan. The blood stained sedan crashing into a neighbor's car. Moments after the gunfire, an officer was on scene. Uh, we were in the area pretty close uh, and we were able to respond within minutes of the call. And I just wish we would have been here a little sooner. Another life also altered forever, the suspect, who police chief Adam Cooper says was detained immediately, brought to the station, and is cooperating with detectives. But the weight of the situation is felt even by those who stood by and watched the crime scene. It's heartbreaking because I, my heart goes out to the family. My heart goes out to the one that's deceased. My heart goes out to the one that's um, in custody because at the end of the day, nobody won. Like, it's heartbreaking because us as black people are losing our youth. We're losing the battle. So it's just like we have to stop. We have to stand up as a community and actually put a stop to gun violence. A plea for change that this neighbor hopes might save a life. In Gulfport, Noah Noble, WLOX News Now. In a startling and unexpected twist, Royce Cornell Davison Rodriguez, the renowned American rapper famously known as Ugly God, finds himself entangled in a distressing controversy. The shadow of murder allegations has suddenly darkened the once lustrous image of Ugly God, as unsettling details emerge regarding a tragic incident that unfolded in Gulfport, Mississippi. This unsettling episode unfolded on the ill-fated evening of June 29, culminating in the heart-wrenching demise of Ronaldo de la Valade, a 50-year-old individual. The circumstances surrounding the fatal shooting are currently the subject of ongoing investigation, gradually piecing together the sequence of events. Law enforcement swiftly responded to reports of the shooting just prior to midnight, arriving at the scene to discover de la life cut short by multiple gunshot wounds within a vehicle. While a suspect is now in custody and cooperating with law enforcement, the initial veil of secrecy shrouded the identity of the individual. Curiously, it was the realm of social media, notably TikTok, that acted as the conduit for accusations, with all fingers pointed squarely at none other than Ugly God himself. Tishia, a self-proclaimed relative of the victim, took to TikTok to share an array of emotionally charged videos and posts, levying serious allegations against Ugly God. These multimedia posts included what is purported to be a case report, listing Ugly God as a suspect in the tragic homicide. The report details the accusation that Ugly God employed a small-caliber handgun in the execution of the shooting. The narrative takes a riveting turn as Tishia hints at a possible avenue for Ugly God to avoid legal ramifications due to his alleged familial connections. Shockingly, Tishia asserts that Ugly God's uncle is none other than Damon Reese, a prominent judge based in Gulfport. The potential weight of this alleged family association raises concerns over the potential influence that could sway the course of legal proceedings. Furthermore, Delavalid's relative maintains that Ugly God has not only acknowledged but brazenly discussed his purported role in the crime. This chilling revelation paints a portrait of a disregard for the gravity of his actions. While social media is often a breeding ground for unsubstantiated rumors, the gravity of the allegations has galvanized public demand for an exhaustive and impartial inquiry. Beyond the shockwaves that have reverberated through Ugly God's fan base, this controversy reignites pertinent conversations concerning the interplay between celebrity status and privilege within the framework of the criminal justice system. The case engenders contemplation on whether the dogged pursuit of justice can be potentially compromised by the perceived connections of the accused. As the investigative narrative continues its unfolding, the focus remains unwaveringly on Ugly God, whose professional standing and personal reputation hang precariously in the balance. Whether these allegations ultimately prove substantiated or not, this incident serves as an unambiguous reminder that the demarcation between fame and infamy within the realm of music and entertainment is exceptionally fragile. In an era where appearances can often eclipse reality, the truth beneath the veneer of accusations against Ugly God remains veiled, and the machinery of justice persists in its relentless motion. Ronaldo René de la Vallade Sr., 50, aka Buggy, made his debut on November 10, 1972, to Irving and Teresa de la Vallade. He was the fourth child welcome to their union. Ronaldo René was suddenly taken away from all he loved and those who loved him in the late morning hours of June 29, 2023. 
Ronaldo René attended elementary, middle, and high school in Pass Christian School District. He played many sports and received many awards and trophies. He continued to play and engage in sports for many years after graduating high school. He wore many hats in the job industry from his time at the casinos, at DuPont, manager at Sleep King Warehouse onto Gulf Coast Laundry to building ships at U.S. Marine Inc., to his final mission at Suprema. He was a hard worker and an even harder player in his downtime. He loved sports. And with the sports came the betting. Betting on football, basketball, tennis and let's not forget the horses. Anything with a wager he'd bet on it. He loved the Coast Casino slot machines and was lucky at it too. Ronaldo René held many titles in his lifetime, but being a husband, a father, and a grandfather was his most satisfying title of all time. One thing about him, he didn't play about his children, they were his heart and meant the world to him. He was fun-loving and full of jokes, laughing at many of his own. He enjoyed spending time with his family and friends. He truly enjoyed a good time filled with laughter and love. He was definitely the life of the party wherever he went, doing his dance every chance he got. He loved everyone and everyone loved him. He didn't tolerate any disrespect and would fight for what he believed in at any cost. Ronaldo René is preceded in death by his maternal and paternal grandparents, his parents Irving Jr. and Teresa, and his in-laws Oscar Sr. and Marilyn Dito. Ronaldo René leaves to cherish his fondest memories of his loving wife of 21 years, Safina, his children, Renico, Ronaldo, Ariana, Jr., Ryana, Rochellen, Renando, and Rilando. His grandchildren Riley and River. A godson Aiden Boyd. His siblings Tammy, Tony, Blue Mingberg, Irving III. Constance, de la Vallade, Tira de la Vallade, and Tisha, Sam, Harris. He leaves behind a host of nieces, nephews, and other family members and friends. The family of Ronaldo de la Vallade Sr. would like to thank everyone who kept us in their thoughts and prayers during our time of bereavement. Thank you to everyone who has reached out to us. Thanks for watching and please subscribe, link to the obituary for Ronaldo René de la Vallade Sr. will be in the description.